In Spokane, Washington, Governor Jay Inslee thanked first responders, doctors, nurses, and teachers for the sacrifices they've made in order to get to this day. The business leaders, the business owners, and their employees who've done everything they can to keep their, their businesses alive. And I want to honor them for what they have done to keep their employment going in a difficult situation. And now we are coming back ready to take off. Inslee's original target for reopening was getting 70% of those eligible vaccinated, but the state fell just 1% short. What makes us confident about this is looking at the rate of transmission that we have driven down dramatically. If you look at the line, it has come down like off a cliff. Venues can now reopen to 100% capacity. That includes everything from restaurants to stores to movie theaters to sport venues. People who have been fully vaccinated do not need to wear masks, though businesses can still make their own requirements. A sweltering heat wave meant that some businesses weren't fully equipped to keep things cool and reopen. That's why we caught up with the city of Spokane's communication director at a cooling center. We've been a long time. It's been 15 months now with pretty significant restrictions in place. There's been disruption across the spectrum here in Spokane as others across the world have experienced. And so we're really excited to be able to, to reopen. Mark Starr has run David's Pizza for 26 years. People come in your store, but they've got to be masked and six feet apart. To, you can't have people come in your store. We were wrong to now you can only have curbside pickup to it's been back and forth, back and forth. And so a lot of businesses got closed as a result. Thousands of them in the state of Washington alone. Even though he had to cut staff from 27 to 10 employees, Starr never thought about closing. That's why on this day, many customers said it was important to be here, including this public health official. It's exciting to be here. It's great to see that Mark, as a representative of the hospitality industry, who has been following the recommendations from the start. It's just great to see a bunch of smiling faces back here again. Our hard work has paid off. You know, we've sat through this for a little over a year and a half now, and uh, the community, while it's been confused, has been extremely supportive, but now the last restrictions are finally falling off and we can get back to some normalcy in our lives. One thing not so normal is Star being unable to open his lower dining room because he can't hire enough staff. A turbulent restaurant sector produced a shortage of people interested in doing such work. It's yet one more challenge where Star says all he can do is roll up his sleeves and say we'll get through it. Mark New, CGTN, Spokane, Washington.